हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू धर्म जियोस्फीयर टुडे आई बी इंटरैक्टिंग विद यू ऑन द रीजनल ज्योग्राफी वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट टॉपिक्स एज यू ऑल आर अवेयर फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम रीजनल ज्योग्राफी हैज बीन द प्रिंसिपल ऑर्गेनाइजिंग फैक्टर इन ज्योग्राफी एट लाइक अ होस्ट ऑफ मेनी अदर सब्जेक्ट्स और टॉपिक्स Uh, the regional geography uh, as a concept kept floating uh, away uh, whenever uh, geographers tried to take a grasp of it and it started disappearing when they started looking at it closely or uh, um, remain focused on it so like uh, art or say uh, time uh, geography also uh, could not um, the uh, regional geography also could not be uh, so uh, concretely or be well defined so um, but then it was uh, equally a very important uh, uh ingredient and uh, topic for the uh, geography as a discipline so um, uh plenty uh, since uh, um, it is so important it is but uh, natural uh, you know, to define to an extent possible uh, the uh, concept of uh, what a region is so um, geographers could not do it uh, for a very long time so two geographers uh, adam and moor uh, tried to um, put in all the definitions available uh, of uh, region uh, and then they put together nearly 40 uh, definitions uh, for uh, region so the uh, best among uh, them were that of uh, um, paul vidal de la blache and uh, the more modern one was uh, from uh, eng for uh, blash uh, uh, region uh, uh, was a um, domain of uh, um, uh, many dissimilar uh, beings uh, uh, put together uh, artificially subsequently uh, adapted themselves to a uh, new existence so this is an important definition and uh, please uh, etch it in your mind and use it whenever uh, there is any question related to region there will definitely be a question on region either in paper 1 or paper 2 where the indian geography is concerned so be very um, uh, cautious in defining a perfect definition uh, of uh, region before you start uh, attempting to write or try to bring in the definition somewhere uh, in your answer uh, in between uh, wherever it is more appropriate uh like the uh, um, definition of uh, blash uh, eng's uh, definition is also uh, important uh, he defined uh, geography he defined the region in uh, geography as any geographical uh, area uh, culturally unified and uh, uh, economically unified uh, at first and um, later uh, unified uh, through a com- uh, through a consensus of uh, uh, education and um, uh, recreation uh, which distinguishes it uh, from uh, the other areas so this is another uh, important uh, definition so please uh, try to get this also etched in your mind these two definitions you can play around and write a good well rounded answer on any uh, topic related to region provided of course you have uh, understood the other aspects like uh, the classification of uh, regions and the importance of uh, uh, regions and the regionalization uh, etc so um wittesley uh, then there was a committee by the wittesley committee uh, which defines uh, region as any segment uh, in the earth's crust uh, if it is uh, of course homogeneous so uh, the concept of region is more of an uh, intellectual concept and uh, it is uh, um, uh, a kind of um, a generic uh, for the purpose of uh, thought so it's more of uh, in the intellectual space uh, rather than in the spatial space as the uh, geographers view it and that's how also um, uh, the concept of region uh, emerged um, Uh, very important uh, uh, because uh, various scholars and uh, 
geographers uh, dealt upon it and then um, it, uh, the concept of region progressively uh, evolved uh, over the years as we see. Um, now I'll um, show you the various other aspects of uh, region including the uh, classification of uh, regions which is very important probably this time uh, a question related to the criteria of classification of regions um, uh, could come. So that's how it is. So I'll now take you on to the uh, slides. Hi guys. So as I was saying, uh, there are other aspects to uh, the uh, study of uh, concept of uh, region. So we have done the definition and uh, Whitley's committee's definition as well. We'll now understand what uh, region as a concrete unit by uh, scooter and then what are the three kinds of uh, regions and then the principles of uh, uh, regionalization by Greg and then the regional geography as a regional science by Walter Desard and then of course the Greg uh, Bongi debate. So um, uh, the region as a concrete unit by uh, scooter uh, according to him uh, this uh, definition of a region as a concrete unit reappeared in the uh, geographical methodology advanced by Schuter. Schuter regarded the region or landscape as a concrete unit possessing a form or structure and he believed that different regions on the face of, face of earth are intimately related so that the earth's surface may be conceptualized as being made up of mosaic of individual landscapes or regions. So in the line with the concept of uh, Schuter, Karl Sohr, also regarded landscapes as concrete objects forming individual unitary holes that have form, structure and function and hence a position in the system. So thus for a good number of regional geographers, the region became an organic entity comparable to that of the biological organ organisms. And then uh, the attempt to enshrine regions as uh, concrete individual objects was also part of a general uh, endeavor at that time to elevate, elevate geography to a position at par with systematic sciences, each focusing on a particular class of objects. So all these uh, years there was a, a constant attempt uh, by the geographers to elevate the discipline of geography to that of science so that it can find its place among the other sciences and establish itself as a discipline. So, but one essential element that distinguishes geographic thought from that of all other sciences is the constant consideration of a relative location of things on the earth's surface with reference to each other. So regions do not have relations to uh, each other as units, only particular elements and complexes of elements within regions are related to the others. So this is how uh, uh, regional geography or the regions in the regional geography differs from the other sciences so it could not hold uh, water for a long time trying to establish itself as a regional concept being uh, a discipline of science. So the kinds of regions, I think you are all know, aware, the uh, formal regions which are a certain characteristic found throughout, they are homogeneous and then there are functional regions which consist of a CBD, the central district or a central place and the surrounding places are affected by it. And the perceptual region is uh, defined by the people's attitudes and feelings about areas. That is, it is more of their perceptions of what they see in that particular place as a region. So uh, we will move on to uh, the principles of uh, regionalization by Greg. You can uh, uh, see it in the um, uh, um, slides. Uh, there are various principles of uh, regionalization. This time, this topic has not been covered so far in your UPSC mains examination. So it could probably um, uh, surface as a short note or as an important question. So uh, one of the criteria is the classification should be designed for a specific purpose. So it really serves two different purposes equally well. So and another one is uh, classification is not absolute and it is not casting on a stone. So they require to be changed as new information becomes av available about the object being classified. So the classification is always uh, uh, dynamic. And then classification, any group of objects should be based on properties of those objects and in other words, the differentiating characteristics used should represent properties of the objects being classed. 
and then when dividing the dividend should be exhaustive and the classes form should exclude each other they should be exclusively class and there should not be any order when dividing again the division should proceed at every stage and as far as possible throughout upon one principle there should be consistency in the principle adopted while classifying the region and then there exist differences in kind between objects so objects which differ in kind shall not easily fit into the same system of classification this is also been the fundamental principles of taxonomy in uh, the biology so that is all the criteria please do remember and uh, from the slides i have summed up uh, what is important in each of the criteria so just try to grasp that and remember so then what he said uh, he proposed a new discipline called the regional science uh, to serve as a bridge between uh, the discipline linking economics geography and planning with a view to promoting a more sophisticated theoretical and quantitative analysis of regional economies and the related problems so the regional science uh, in fact uh, greatly helped to uh, rejuvenate the study of uh, not only regional economics it left considerable impact on the study of human geography which at that time was deeply involved in looking for ways and means for gaining uh, scientific respectability more particularly as a discipline so uh, the revolution in geography in the 60s and 70s were closely associated with regional science which has become a major source for many fresh ideas and insights particularly in the subject of human geography so regional science is considered to evolve as a body of theory which by nature is forward looking and also precise so the uh, brick bunch debate i just made a uh, summary of it just remember that this could be a um, um, short note because this also has not appeared so greeks uh, approach was uh, like that of uh, hedner and hartson who believed that uh, the regions or the locations are uh, unique and no one region uh, resembles or has characteristics similar to that of the other region so this kept on so greek also agreed with them uh, and he asserted that locations are uh, not unique and that locations are indeed general and uh, they are comparable as a frequent use of the term such as near far close distance and adjacent would show so uh, so in a way in principle he agreed that they are distinct but they are slightly different from each other based on the adjectives used so these terms emphasize relatively relative of location which implies their comparability so really you can compare the uh, regions even if they are unique so um, uh, however um, uh, mung did not uh, mung ji do not agree with uh, greg he said uh, that uh, um, uh, the locations are uh, um, uh, different they cannot be a unique in fact he said the science itself is a deadly enemy of uniqueness so while um, uh, uh, partly agreeing with the um, bungie's view uh, greek mo tried to modify his own view uh, of uh, region when uh, while he was still insisting on the essential uniqueness of locations he considered nevertheless that uh, locations are essentially relative so in a way um, while he was in uh, agreeing to hetner and uh, harshon for the uh, regions being uh, exclusive and unique he also agreed to the fact that uh, they are essentially relative particularly when we use those uh, objectives attached with the regions so and then that is how he was able to um, argue it out uh, with bangi so that was the uh, basic debate uh, um, so um, greek finally agreed to bangi in a way but uh, remain uh, with his own uh, original view that uh, the regions are uh, indeed uh, unique but uh, relatively uh, um, they can be uh, compared and there could be similarities in the regions as well so that is all uh, guys as far as the regional geography is concerned regional geography uh, is very very important there will always be a question either in paper 1 or in the uh, paper 2 of the indian geography so please be very thorough particularly in understanding at least try to um, etch in your mind the two or three definitions 
of uh, region so that your uh, answer will be very authentic and uh, it will fetch uh, more marks so try to remember uh, the definitions of uh, all the daily blush and also young and also how what the witless uh, committee has given and then uh, of course you all know what are the three kinds of region but principles of uh, regionalization by greek try to please remember all the criteria used for differentiating regions it is also important in your paper too uh, when you use uh, um, this criteria for uh, differentiating regions in the indian context and then uh, the regional geography as regional science is also important and the of course the greek when we depend so that's all guys uh, we'll catch up with the historical geography in our next video mm, uh, till then uh, please um, stay focused uh, it's just hardly a few more days um, before your exam i'm sure all of you look and sound confident and i'm sure you will all do well and uh, we'll catch up soon bye and take care